for this plant but it's just way too big it's nice and tall but it also the leaves come out really far and they're huge so I think it's too much for my space this is the other one in comparison I wish it were a little bigger but plant is secured kind of okay, I'm back home now I was out for a solid two hours I think I'm gonna eat some of the donuts that I got really quickly because it's 12 and I haven't eaten anything yet and then my plant is beautiful but I do think it's like a little too small for this space it's like not quite four feet and I was looking for something that was at least four to five feet the one that I saw at the nursery that I asked about initially was like six feet or over six feet and that one was just way too big but this one's just a little small and I feel like it'll take a while to grow into the size that I want it to be so I'm gonna call up some other nurseries and go check them out probably in a bit so these are the donuts I got I went to a place called donut petite in Alameda and oh my god so good I got like one plain glazed donut and then a bunch of different pretty unique flavors I think this one is creme brulee um, this one is like blueberry cake with the lemon glaze this is pistachio and chocolate this is a cronut and this is a carrot cake donut. I forgot to turn on the camera. I'm trying the cronut and it's really good. Ugh, now that I ate donuts for lunch, I'm just gonna take a quick walk to a nearby nursery just to see what they have. It's like 10 minutes away and the weather's pretty nice. Clouds go, baby, I don't know. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow. How many times do I have to tell you? I really like the leaves on both of these. Beautiful too. Taking these guys home with me. Oh, I wish I could find one that was in between. This one is just too big. It would take up so much space. Alright, it's, it's a little bit later. I'm back home and I'm surrounded by all my plants. And I'm so happy to have more plants around the house again. It just feels so nice. This one I've had in my bedroom, probably seen in some videos. Um, but it's my fiddle leaf big tree. Some of the leaves haven't been getting as much light as the others so they've been falling off and I just think I need to do a better job of making sure to open the windows and um, rotating it so that it gets light evenly because it's in the corner in my bedroom most of the time and I only like to open one of the windows. Plus it's been so cloudy in the morning so I guess it just hasn't been getting as much light lately but I just watered it this morning and hopefully it'll keep doing well. I really love this plant. These are the two new plants that I got from the nursery that I walked to earlier today. Really happy with them. I think they're so cute. For some reason, I always look past the four inch plants in like this size or smaller um, just because I guess they don't look that appealing on its own, but it's just what I need to like style this bookshelf. I ended up picking up this pot from the last nursery that we went to today. And I think it looks really nice with this more of a dark leaf plant, especially when I put it on the top shelf. You can really see the underside color of the leaves, which is so pretty. It's kind of like a, a deep reddish purple. I didn't want to keep everything too white. And then this little guy is a Enjoy Pothos. And I've always wanted this variation of Pothos. The leaves are just super pretty. This is a little pot that I actually have had already lying around. So I stuck it in and it fits perfectly right now. I'm probably not going to pot it in this, but uh, it looks fine just holding it there. And this will look super pretty once the, the vines start growing. So now let me walk through to the living room and 
Um, I went to the last nursery to see what their bigger Birds of Paradise looked like, but again, they were just too big. I feel like the ones that are that tall just tend to be like too wide, like the leaves really um, go out very far, so I don't have enough space for that. But I did find a nice pot for Birds of Paradise that I bought originally, and I put it on a little stool to raise it up a bit higher, and I think it looks amazing. Having the pot and the stool really help elevate the look. So, are you ready for the reveal? Look at her, she's so pretty. I literally <laughs> like can't stop looking towards the side of the living room because I think it just makes such a big difference. I really like the pot color. It's kind of like a, a muted terracotta color. It looks kind of peachy coral. And then it looks really nice with the green. I'm super happy with this. Uh, why do I keep wanting to call it fiddle leaf? Um, my birds of paradise. I think the leaves just look really nice and light, I guess. Some of the ones that I saw seemed like really mature plants that had very thick, robust leaves, and I think this one just looks really pretty and delicate. And like I said, the height is perfect. I had it on this shelf that um, I want to get rid of and maybe put a bench here or something, but it was a little bit too high, so I brought out this stool, and it's the perfect fit. New video is going live tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. I spent all day um, finishing up editing this video. Even though the video is only six minutes long, it always takes me so long to edit these more stylized videos. Even though I didn't even do like crazy editing, I just had to like edit, go through a bunch of different pieces and then edit it to some music and choosing music takes such a long time but i'm glad that that is finally almost ready it's my first time using the scheduling scheduling feature on youtube and the video is going to go live at 7 a.m tomorrow i'm very happy with how the thumbnail came out again i'm not like the best at making thumbnails but i just kind of went with it for this one and i thought it came out really cute it's like a little film strip right there and then one of my favorite outfits from the video. Well, I wasn't really planning on vlogging today. I've just been having a pretty chill day at home, but I'm getting ready to roll out the new rug and I just wanted to show you, cleaned up the living room a little bit and it's looking real cute. So here's the living room. The side is still a bit messy. I just pushed, <laughs> there's always like some junky corner, but I feel like the living room is looking so nice. I moved the coffee table so that I could take a picture of the rug and post it on craigslist for anyone to buy it though i am kind of sad because i feel like especially with the plant there now the blue looks a lot nicer and stuff but the rug is still a little bit too small i think um for the new sectional i think it looks a little weird so this is a five by seven and then the new rug is a six by nine if you watched the previous vlog you'd have seen me unpack that rug in a smaller size just to make sure that it wouldn't look too funny next to the couch because they're a very very similar color but I think it'll look really nice when the new one is rolled out it'll just be very simple and add some texture I don't think I'm gonna film the process of rolling out the rug because that might be a little hectic but I will show you a clip of the new rug in three two one here is the new rug in the space it's very nice it's very plain and neutral. I kind of miss the like ornate oriental pattern a little bit but I think I think this will be fine especially once we get a nice coffee table. I really want like a round glass top coffee table. Hello hello. I don't remember what the last thing I vlogged was but I haven't vlogged for a bit but I do have a couple of apartment updates. So I think the last thing I showed was the new rug and I was kind of having mixed feelings at first. I kind of really liked how the pattern on the old one looked and I was thinking maybe I should have gotten a similar style of rug but in a more neutral color. But I totally changed my mind and I love how the rug looks now. I think it just makes the space look so much bigger. It's kind of hard to show it right now but I feel like just walking towards this area from other parts of the room it just feels so much bigger with this more simple rug so i really like it a couple of days ago i picked up this glass top coffee table off of facebook marketplace for only 24 dollars 
and I'm so happy because it's the perfect size. And I really wanted a, a glass top coffee table because the only window is here in the front and then at the other side of the room in the kitchen, which is pretty small. So there isn't a whole lot of light coming in through this entire large wall. So really wanted to bring in more glass elements to just reflect more light and make the space feel more airy and open. And I'm very, very happy with how the living room is turning out. I'm not in love with the coffee table base, but I think what I'm gonna do is spray paint it gold because there's just a lot of white and cream going on now. I really wanna bring in some gold and black back into the space. Next to it is our old coffee table, which I just posted for sale and someone is picking it up this weekend. And then in just a little bit, someone is coming to pick up this cabinet right here, which is a really great shoe cabinet kind of thing that I got off of Wayfair a year or two ago. It holds so much shoes, like um, all the shoes that are now in our <laughs> great little shoe closet basically fit in that shoe cabinet. So holds a ton of storage and it's just a great um, like good looking little cabinet but we don't need it anymore and I don't think the style really fits the rest of the space. Yesterday I went to Ikea and I picked up a bench that I think is going to fit really nicely here. Here is my outfit today. I'm just wearing this little sweat short set that I got from AliExpress and it's this perfect little pistachio sage green kind of color. I think this was like $25 or $30 on AliExpress and honestly I'm really happy with the quality of it so I would really recommend it. Here's how the coffee table looks from this angle and as you can see it reflects the light from the window perfectly and I'm just so happy. I've like thought about this a lot and it just makes me so happy when my visions actually come to life. It's always out of reach. How can I tell you the way you make me feel? All of my thoughts begin and end with you. All of my thoughts begin and end with you. I know you like you know me, you know that I know you. I Alrighty, here's how it looks now. I try to use it as a bench. I'm not sure how many plants I'm actually gonna keep on top of it, but I mean, we didn't really use the bench at our last place that often. And this one is like a little uncomfortable to sit on because of all the slats on top. So I don't know, it definitely it looks better, I think, as a plant stand. a place I can't tell you where for sure Falling asleep to rain upon the roof All of my dreams begin and end with you So right now I'm just gonna go through and take some outfit shots wearing these clothes that I want to sell online and I just wanted to show you the cool little tripod that I got. You can see I have my iPhone attached to it and this is as high as it goes. I got this so that I could use it to take photos with my iPhone and just of like some body shots like this. And I also really like it because I can use it for my vlog camera. You can see here that I'm using this like really short tripod grip kind of thing. And this is nice for like handheld shots and just holding the camera pretty steadily around. But it's not actually that versatile for vlogging because it it's pretty short like even when I put it on a table it doesn't really capture my height so I really like this little tripod because it is extendable and I can really easily pull it up to the height that I need it to be and when it's fully collapsed it's very very compact it also comes with a little remote that attaches to the bottom that I can use to trigger the shutter on my iPhone and yeah I think it's just the perfect little tripod that I needed for my iPhone and my vlog camera I just came back from a very disappointing thrifting trip, so I'm just eating some leftover instant, instant noodles and a 
green smoothie. Got two packages today. One of them is from Zara that I just ordered. I ordered this blazer and I was actually thinking it was going to be a lot lighter in color. Um, you can see in comparison to my sweatshirt it's quite a bit like creamy and it feels more like a linen material so that's nice we'll see how it looks on i thought this little cardigan looked so cute online so i'm excited to try it on i'm not super into these like crystal buttons but it looks really pretty on in the photos online lastly i got this denim jacket which is supposed to be the same style as a black denim jacket that i got a couple of months ago from Zara and I really liked the fit of it so I wanted to see how the lighter denim looked. And then this package is really exciting because it's from Korea and it's the Joan Day and Soft Soul collaboration. Joan came out with a pajama line, loungewear line with Soft Soul and I thought the black and white robe was so cute. This set was like a lot more expensive than I was hoping. I wish it came with just the robe by itself, but it comes with a robe and a tank and shorts. So I'm excited that it's finally here. Okay, here is the Zara blazer on. This is a size extra small and it's still so big on me. I rolled up the sleeve so it looks a little bit better, but I feel like it's just a little too oversized and structured. I do like the idea of these kind of blazers and I was looking for one that was a nice creamy color like this but i think my search will have to continue so this is what the zara cardigan looks like on it has a little bit of green in it kind of like a chartreuse on camera it looks a lot more like butter yellow i would wear it with a top that has a bit of a lower neckline i'm kind of torn i feel like i have a number of tops in this silhouette and style but i just really like the color of this one i think the knit pattern is really pretty i like that it has this kind of ribbed detailing here i feel like it reminds me of that popular cardigan from Aritzia. Okay, here's what the cardigan looks like without the shirt underneath. It's not too low cut where I can't wear it without anything underneath. I think it's really cute. Here is the denim jacket and I gotta say, I definitely don't like it as much as the black one. I feel like the arm wasn't so far connected to the bottom of the jacket on the black one. This one just has a bit more of a straightened down fit. I prefer my denim jackets to be pretty like boxy and wide and a bit more on the cropped side, especially since I have a short torso, it's hard to find the perfect denim jacket, so this one is not it. And last but not least, here's the Joan Day pajama set, and I think it's so cute. I actually like this little set more than I thought. The material is really shiny and silky, but it feels pretty nice and breathable, and I really like how long the shorts are and how they have pockets. And then of course the robe, I think it's so cute. It's made out of like a really nice linen-y material and I love the little black scribble print. Yay, I'm really glad that I got the set. I've decided that today is a day where I'm going to clean my vanity. So here's what it looks like before and here's the after. Looks so much better. I actually was putting stuff away and decluttered a lot of my highlighters. These are all just a little bit too shimmery for my taste now. These Wet n Wild blushes used to be my favorites from the drugstore. They're really nice, intense, but also smooth looking highlighter. I had it in Precious Petals and then in a more peachy shade. This one is called Bloom Time. But yeah, I just never want to use a highlighter like this anymore. This one was also one I had for a long time. It's like a Maybelline eyeshadow that I purchased after hearing Roxette Arisa talk about it all the time. Really pretty color. But again, just not as smooth and glossy as I would like my highlighters to be nowadays. This one is a really similar one to the Wet n Wild one from ColourPop. I was really into these like darker, not quite as like bright highlighters. This one definitely has more of a peachy undertone. And then this one is actually a relatively recent purchase from bare minerals it's a really pretty very smooth highlighter but it still just has more of that shimmer rather than a very plain sheen this anastasia and reese highlighter is really good but it's very very similar to the nabla highlighter that 
that I have right here and I think the novel one is actually better. This one is just so smooth and just looks really wet on the skin so I've been always reaching for this over the Emery one nowadays. The only really intense powder highlighter that I kept is the Balm Mary Luminizer. Just if like I want to add a little bit something more intense on top of my cheekbones if I'm like taking photos or something but for the most part I just never really reach for powder highlights anymore. I did keep this hourglass palette and a bunch of my cream highlights.